Hi, this is Daniel Nugent, painter and decorator. Today I'm doing this conservatory roof. So this was a kind of like, obviously, PVC roof with the, the Perspex panels in or whatever, the glass panels. But they had it taken off, had a lightweight roof put on and all plastered. But as you can see from these cracks, there's a lot of movement where obviously they put the boards on plastered, but it continues to move. So I would say these are stress cracks and they probably will come back because some of them are really deep. Um, look at that one. So what I'm going to do, and I've done it on a job and it seems to have held because I've tried loads of different sort of ways of doing stress cracks. I'm going to use this first. So the two prep, it's exterior rock solid repair filler. Okay. Now this is called Murex. All right. M-U-R-E-X. And it's so high in resin, you cannot rub this down, honestly. So first things first, I'm going to, I've got it mixed up here just a little bit. I'm going to start putting it in, but I'm, I won't fill it proud. I'm going to press it right in, let that set. And then I'm going to skim over that with um, Easy Fill 20. Okay, here we go. So just to show you here, I've put the Murex on and you can't leave it like this. You see all the excess. So I'm just going to get a sponge. Wipe it all sort of smooth, okay? It's very important because once this sets, you can't get rid of it. It's a nightmare. Honestly, this dries so hard and rapid as well. So you've got to be quite quick, especially on like hot days. Um, so that's probably how I want to get it now. Nice and smooth. So there is excess, but I've smoothed, I've smoothed it all out. So... No, um, so look, that's pressed in right in now to that crack all the way along. Um, yeah, just a little bit of debris there. Remove that. So what I'll do once this is dried, I'm going to easy fill over it and then sand it down. Okay. So as you can see, folks, that's all the Murex in done. I've smoothed it all off with a wet sponge. So it looks like it's all got excess on it, but it hasn't. That's all been smoothed with a sponge. So there's no like hard lumpy bits. It's, um, as I say, as you're pressing it in, it's almost drying straight away. It's crazy. This is quite rapid drying. Once it's fully dried, I will, um, as I say, coat with um, some easy fill. Okay. So next stage now, yeah, as I say, I'm going to put the old uh, Easy Fill over this filler and then sand it down with the Merca. As you can see now, that's been filled, that's dried out nice. Can't see it moving at all. Okay, let's go for it. So there we have it, folks. So that's the um, Easy Fill 20 all rubbed down um, over the Murex, which initially went in, rubbed it down with the Merca sanding system and it's ready for two coats of um, AR2. As I say, I like to use this Ticarilla Anti-Reflex 2. And yeah, it, all the vibration of the sand in, it hasn't moved, hasn't budged, stayed solid. So I think this is the best way to solve your stress cracks, even in walls, ceilings, where they've not put enough noggins in, you're always gonna get that vibration movement. This sets rock hard, that Murex. So, and then you just, as I say, you can skim over it. I like to use Easy Fill, but whatever floats your boat. And uh, yeah, I would honestly say that's what I'm going to use from now on rather than tape and flexible stuff. And because I've done it before and you can sort of almost see a hairline coming back through, but this is this has stayed solid. So um, yeah, thanks for watching and um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more hints and tips on painting and decorating. Thank you very much.